Well, I've just woke up. Uh, it's such a nice day. The sun is beaming down. Um, I just want to show you that there's frost on the car still. Like it's only the bit that isn't in the sun. But there we go, we got some ice on the car. So, yeah, no wonder I kept waking up last night. It was cold. That's promising, dogs barking. Hey dogs, loads of dogs. There's quite a bit of wind up here, so take my apologies. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you this viewpoint um, for where I might stay tonight. So I've come all the way up this mountain. There's the car. And yeah, there's the view. There is tonight's super moon. Um, I'm sorry for the poor focus, and yeah, I don't even have a bigger lens with me. But there's the super moon on the last day of January 2018. Was well, that time again out of water, and we've got a nice. Uh, I don't even know what you want to call this, but yeah, time for water. There's the water filling up and the super moon in the sky. It's cold tonight, so I won't be hanging around for too long. As soon as this is done, I am off. Hey, good morning. First of February. First of February? Yes, it is. 2018. Yeah, I will be leaving Spain today and I should be sort of halfway through France, um, probably mid this afternoon, early this evening. Yeah, closer to the UK. It's getting colder. Um, last night where I went to go and see the super moon, it was so cold. I ended up leaving there probably about nine o'clock. And I come to one of the little cities. I say little cities, it's quite big actually. But yeah, I'm parked on a main road. Um, I parked here last night in between um, vehicles that are here for, I don't know, people going out into town for night time and lorries. And I've woken up didn't wake up through the night I think I heard one person beep which I just one but it didn't wake me up anyway I know you're gonna say how did you hear it if I was asleep I must have dreamt it then but yeah I'm gonna guess there's gonna be cars all around I know there's definitely a car parked at the front you're not gonna see that anyway because the, the lights on me um, are actually gonna be well overexposed so yeah my reason for being here is one cities and towns tend to be more built up so they're incredibly warm there's Lidl and Aldi literally about a minute walk that way and this way I've got a big uh, shopping mall and I need a memory card like really bad I need a memory card I haven't got any memory left at all and yeah I 
I've got no way of taking I mean I've backed up everything I can onto USB because I've got this little device that plugs into the phone and I could put a pen drive in it as well as a memory stick and transfer data across but everything, everything, of, everything is full like. Right now I finally dragged my uh, my backside out of bed Today my uh, my psoriasis has cleared up like massively um, which is lovely and that is all down to the organic virgin coconut oil which is somewhere there-ish. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, yeah, what a massive help. That really has helped my skin so massively. And I was out the pools for a couple of days, and I was out the sun yesterday. So, yeah, like, I don't have, like, I see the bit of redness there, but it is nowhere near as prominent as what it was. Um, I just wanted to show you where I'd stopped. So, um, obviously, I've got dressed. I've climbed into the front, which is a mission in the car because... I get over like this little move this out the way get through the little gap um, yeah I don't think anyone knew there was anyone sleeping in the car last night even though the car we laugh and we call it a stealth car but the car is not stealth not at all I mean it's painted in natal green with desert sand tint on the windows so yeah basically here we have I don't know what you can see or not I'll have to turn this camera around right so this is where I was parked I'll get out in a minute and show you but literally um, just around the corner, just here, we've got um, a shopping centre. We've got a china shop just across there, which is good for any little gadgets. Just anything, really. Like, if anyone's ever been to a china shop, they sell pretty much anything you could ever want. Down the way, um, that's McDonald's, Lidl, Aldi's just around the corner. And yeah, look, I'm just in, just in traffic, just parked up, just normally. Yeah, it goes to show. You can still park anywhere. Yeah, so that that's where I'm parked. Um, just in everyday traffic, which I think is brilliant. I'm going to take a walk now. I'm going to see if I can find this memory card because I am completely out of data. I'll show you what I've filled up. So, uh, da, 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 da. right, we have right, a 32 gig micro SD. It's in that little adapter there. A 32 gig normal SD card. An 8 gig pen drive, a second 8 gig pen drive, 2 gig compact flash, and a 16 gig compact flash, 4 gig. So, yeah, I filled up quite a lot of memory, a lot more than what I thought actually. So, I'm gonna see if I can get a memory card or a pen drive or a USB stick, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that now actually. Right, check this system out they've got going on in here, right? All these cars parked, which seems normal, but where there is a red light, there's a car. Where there is a green light, there's no car. So from anywhere, you can see where you're looking. So down here, we've got a load of green ones. Across there, a load of red ones. What a fantastic idea. And then you get I was telling you there's one space down that way so down there there should be one green light apparently so and there we go there is a green light that is a good system a very good system I like that I think we should do that in the, like the Trafford Centre and anywhere else where we've got big underground parking like this also blue light for disabled yeah, not that you can miss it because of the big blue space on the floor. So, there's two spaces up that way and there's two green lights. Right, I have one. Um, it's a 64 gig Scandis Ultra um, with the adapter. So yeah, I got the, um, the micro SD and that way it can fit in the GoPro and anything else, my phone. And then I've got the adapter for my camera. So... Yeah, and that was really cheap actually for a memory card. And in conclusion to a Spanish mall or hypermarket, whatever you call them, exactly the same as in England, but less busy and people aren't as rude. So, happy days. And I'm happy because at the end of the day, I went there for a memory card and I have the memory card. So, let's go do some food shopping check out this pizza thing right I thought I'd pick up this one because it's nice and nice and thick 
dun 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 Yeah, we're just paying for air. <laughs> I'm gutted. What's that rhyme? That rhyme is something like... The rain in Spain falls normally or mainly on the plains, something like that. Um, doesn't discuss anything about the snow, does it? But the scenes as though we're in the snow right now and it's still falling thick and fast like and it's just straight it's just falling straight the car temperature thermometer thingy bobby on the window or on the wind mirror reckons it's two degrees my phone reckons it's like one degrees i don't know how cold it is uh i don't know i know it's cold the windscreen is misty on the inside and completely snowed on the outside I mean, I know this isn't bad, but remember, this is a car, and cars get extremely cold when you're not sat in them uh, with the engine running. So, I think my plan for tonight is going to be drive through the night. Now, I did wake up quite late today, and I haven't done much through the day. So, I might just beast out a few miles, get the engine warm, get the car sweltering, and then climb in the back. I have got two duvets, a sleeping bag and a load of clothes, so I will be fine. It's just I'd rather be comfortable, and yeah. Snow. And I don't even think at the minute you've got snow in England. I think you've had snow, like it's the first of Feb. I don't think you've got snow anymore, have you? Maybe, maybe sort of like Yorkshire maybe, Lake District, Scotland, I mean they're gonna have snow, but I don't think um, the likes of like Manchester, Birmingham, Devon. I don't think you're gonna have snow there. I've actually just checked, and I'm sure most of England is around six, seven degrees, and I'm two degrees right here. 